Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the video, the 5k, um, what's called the 5k special. I said I was going to do a, uh, a tutorial on the skyboxes and well, here we are. This is definitely not my like 5th time, 10th time, 100th time trying to record this. But yeah, today I'm going to show you pretty much how to get a custom skybox with HLE. And if you don't know what I'm on about, I'll put like an image or something on the screen right now and then you can like see what I mean. If you're interested, keep on watching the video. And um, yeah, I'm going to go through like the whole process of setting it up, like using it, just everything. So yeah, first of all, you want to go to where your HLE is installed and it's going to be either on your C drive or your D drive. But if it's installed on your C drive, it'll be on program files 86, then obviously HLE and then resources, AFX hook source. Uh, assets and then CSGO and then materials and then there should not be a skybox thing and um, That is good if there is not, not one because you want to go in the description and there should be a link to the skybox thing Skybox folder. I put like all the skyboxes in and stuff for that So you can um, just download that one and drag it in here and then you have like uh, 20 custom ones I think it's, it's it's the one for banana gaming so you can install more and this is where you want to put them if you do install them more but I just gave you 20 template ones and I'm going to show you how to like get them to work and stuff so anyway you want to go ahead and download this movie making config as well uh, Alan Ga it is Alan Gaming's but I just thought I'd link in the description as well because this is a vital part of it and my mic's falling onto me nice nice anyway uh, once you have this installed you want to put it in your whether your Cisco is installed for me it's in my D drive which will be Steam, Steam Apps, Common, CSGO, CSGO. Then it'll be in your config file where you have to pull it if you didn't know already. But yeah, this will be in the description for people who need it. I've already got it in there, so yeah. Uh, basically, then you want to open HLE. If you don't have HLE, I, I might put a link in the description. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure most of you will have it. And then you want to go Tools, Developer, Custom Loader. And then if you've used HLE before, you know how to do this. So I'm going to get rid of Reshade because obviously... I'm not interested in that, and then launch it, and then press OK. And CSGO is not responding. Wonderful. Wonderful news. Alright, is it working? Alright, once you're in um, CSGO, I'm going to turn down the sound a little bit because it's really loud. What you want to do is... Um, I'm going to make sure that HD is working, so type Merv. And then you want to go into whatever demo you want it to be. I'm just going to go into like a random one. Uh, this one will do yeah this one all right once you're in the game you just want to uh what's called skip to like whenever wherever your flag is and also i might do a tutorial on a merv pv how you get like um the hood and everything to be as if as if you're in the game but you're actually in a demo and um well, what we're gonna do now we're gonna exec movie making um the thing that we just put in the folder then i usually use merv fov 93 or 94 it doesn't really matter but you can obviously change it to your liking 90 is the vanilla and uh, some people use like 100 some people even use 120 like look at that 110 most people use but yeah i'm gonna use 93 for that or 94 even all right and now you've done that you want to go over to the link in the description i will have it in the description and you want to know what's called i'll quickly search up so i don't actually have it on there um, well you can just search up by doing this and it'll be this link but this link will be in the description and what you want to do is you want to what's called copy all these three links i mean you can memorize it but it's a bit you want to make sure you want to make sure s sv underscore cheats one is on and then you want to copy all these so i'm gonna copy this one i mean you can memorize it but it's just a bit a bit like annoying like this one is gonna be, be insane to memorize but if you can good on you and then it should go like a weird color and also if you don't want the clouds scroll down and copy this one i usually keep the clouds one. i'm just gonna turn off this one and then if you've installed everything correctly you should be able to do this sv underscore sky name and then space one and then it will change it depending on the number and i'm going to do like a little um a slide kind of thing like showing you each um sv sky name space underscore one to 20 and show you what it looks like and uh, i might do on different maps
that's pretty much it. I mean, I can. Yeah, you, why not? I'm going to show you how to do merv POV. So if you want to do merv POV, you want to type this command: merv list entities underscore list, list entities is play equals one. And then you want to click stop, open your console, and then you want to go to where your name is. So obviously my name is unknown entity, and then it, that is 13. So I'm going to go merv POV 13. Also, uh, don't use this number. This number works sometimes, but I I much prefer this one, and it always works for me. So definitely always use that one. So merv POV 13. Then you want to click watch and then i'll show you how to do the the hd skybox with the mer pv it's the same same thing but it's just a little tutorial i guess all right so uh if you if you're in the games like this this is absolutely fine it's just because you haven't loaded in yet so you want to skip forward like a few rounds maybe or whatever your killers i'm gonna do it there egg zeg, egg zeg movie maker i can't speak english right move for v93 and obviously copy these ones again. Oh, that's that's the rest of mine. Uh, SV underscore cheats one. Paste that. I'm gonna paste that one. And then I I personally use SV scar name underscore space. What's it called? Fourteen I think it is for this one or seventeen. These two are the best in my opinion. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Hang on. Right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna still do this move and put camera and then show you what it looks like. So this is obviously space one. It looks kind of nice, but it doesn't really suit Nuke. But then you can obviously go through, find the one that you like. Right, that that one looks quite nice for Nuke. Maybe you could you could maybe use that one. I don't know. Use space six. Uh, a lot of people use this one. You might have seen this one in a few of them. This one works best in like Mirage, Inferno, and them types of maps. But I mean, you you can still use it. You can still use it. So it's up to you. But yeah, I think that I think that's the end of the tutorial, boys. I mean, if you're interested in any more tutorials, let me know in the um, the comment section, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to help you. I mean, hopefully this tutorial hasn't been too bad. I don't, I'm not very good at these type of things, but I thought I thought I'd try to help everyone with this because I see a lot of um, a lot of comments on this, so I thought why not? I'll, I'll do one, and then hopefully it will help people out. So uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, obviously, and uh, yeah, cheers for watching.